Hello everyone, I'm Jessica and today I'm going to be doing my wrap up for the Contemporary-a-thon. I ended up reading a total of four books for the Contemporary-a-thon, um, covering all seven challenges. In complete and full disclosure, I was on vacation during the Contemporary-a-thon and the week prior. And during the week prior, I ran out of books to read. And so I actually started reading my books for the contemporary -thon early. I read all four books in like a five-day span. So I didn't necessarily read them all during the contemporary -thon, but But I did read four contemporary books in five days. And it was kind of during the contemporary -thon, so I'm counting it. Okay. Take more books next time when you go on vacation for two weeks, Jessica. You got it? Okay, so the first book that we're going to talk about is The Third Twin by CJ, something that starts with an O. I gave this a four out of five stars. It follows a girl by the name of Lexi, who her and her sister Ava are twins, obviously, and they have always lived their life um, blaming anything bad that happens on this third twin named Alicia. And basically saying, you know, if there's a boy that they don't really want to go out with or they want to go out with, but they know that like their persona wouldn't necessarily go out with, then the guy gets to go out with Alicia. And these boys start coming up murdered and the DNA left behind matches both Lexi and Ava. And so Lexi knows that she's not murdering the boys, so she has to figure out if her sister Ava's murdering them or if Alicia is real. This covered the challenges for a dark contemporary and for a contemporary with a picture on the spine. I did really end up enjoying this. I do not read a lot of YA um, murder mysteries, I, though I have been reading more of them, but I don't haven't read a lot in the past. So I don't know if this is a completely original plot, but I did really enjoy it. I will say the murderer is not who I thought it was. I didn't figure it out until about 10 pages before um, the big reveal happened. I was, I was along for the ride, but I didn't necessarily know exactly who it was. I did enjoy the characters. Uh, they both make some really dumb decisions, and, and I think that's kind of um, something that always happens in YA novels, but when you think about things that you did when you were 15 and 16, they're teenagers and I will forgive them. The next book is The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. I read this for the challenge of read a book you meant to read in 2018 and also read a book with an alternative format and I read this via audiobook. I gave this a four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. I'm not going to tell you what it's about because if you don't know then you've been living under a rock. I will say one of the things that I really enjoyed about this book is how different it is from the movie. In the book, uh, Mia's father is alive, so he's a main central character, and her grandmother is kind of a witch. She's not the loving grandmother that we get from Julie Andrews, and I like that. Super fun read. I will continue on with this series next year because I don't own any more of them, and as you know if you've been here before, I'm trying to read the books that I already own rather than buying more, so. Next is The Vanishing Stare by Maureen Johnson, and I read this for the challenge of reading a book with blurple, blue or purple, or a bluish purple on the cover. It's right here, I promise. And also for reading your most recently acquired contemporary. This is a follow-up to last year's Truly Devious. It follows a girl by the name of Stevie who goes to this contemporary type school where people who are good at different things go rather than just like a regular school you have to be invited um, and Stevie likes to solve mysteries and many many years ago when the school was founded the founder's wife and daughter went missing and were murdered and so they're trying to solve that mystery as well as mysteries that are happening at the school. This book I gave a 4.75 out of 5 stars. I absolutely loved it. I love Maureen's writing. I super love the characters. In this book you get the, um, you know who the murderer is from the original murders, but you don't know everything about it yet. And there's more secrets and there's more murders. It was amazing. And the fourth and final book is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. I read this for the challenge of reading a diverse contemporary. 
This is a somewhat follow-up to 2017's The Hate You Give. It centers around a different character named Brie, but it's set in the same city. There is some discussion of the events that happened during The Hate You Give, so it would help to read that, I imagine. Um, you don't have to, but it definitely gives more depth to the story itself. I ended up giving this four out of five stars. Um, the premise is not something that I loved. This book follows Brie, who is an up-and-coming rapper, who gets a song that kind of goes viral and things don't exactly go as planned, and she has to learn how to speak up for herself and to um, try to make her life better. The premise of this was not necessarily something that I was super looking forward to, but I really loved Angie's writing style in The Hate You Give, so I decided to put this on the list and to read it, and I did. I read it on the day that it came out. I really did enjoy it. I just love Angie's writing style. She is an autobi author for me from now on. Just love it. I love the characters. I love Brie and her family, and that's another thing that Angie does really well, um, is writing strong familial relationships and strong friendships, and I just absolutely love her. that about her. So those are the four books that I read during the contemporary a thon kinda. If you have read any of these books, let me know how you felt about them in the comments below. If you participated in the contemporary a thon, please make sure to either mention it or link me to your wrap up because I would love to see what you guys read during the contemporary a thon and find more contemporary books to read because I'm not a huge contemporary reader. That is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos twice a week. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!